Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Tanner Bell, founder of MakersGonnaLearn.com, a digital cut file community. And in today's video, we're tackling the knockout method. It's such a huge trend right now and I've seen it all over the Facebook groups. I've got your emails and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you on Design Space how you're able to achieve this look. It's so fun and I think you're going to really enjoy it for this project. It's a great gift idea and it's just an all around awesome project. To get started, you're going to want to open Design Space and go ahead and select text. I've seen a lot of different font options, but in today's video, we're using two different fonts, one called Brandon and another called Shorelines. You'll be able to download these from defont.com if you haven't already, but there are a ton of different options and I just recommend you picking out your very own fonts and testing the waters. So the first thing you're going to do is type in Krigger in capital letters and we're already on the Brandon font. So we're gonna take this, and then we're going to create another text box. But what we're doing is changing the font from Brandon, and we're changing it to Shorelines. We have a video in our Cricut Maker eCourse in Design Space class if you need help downloading fonts into Design Space. But now that we've selected Shorelines, we're just gonna type in Michael and Awesome. So the first things first is that we have these two layers. Now what we're going to want to do is go ahead and manipulate these. We'll start with the Michael and Kindle and what we're going to do first is go ahead and take the letter space and go down. Okay so we've got our letter space and I'm going to expand it just a little bit but as you can see here the letters are not perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and zoom in and we're going to go up to advanced and select ungroup to letters. You can also just go over to the layers panel and select ungroup. Each do the same thing. What you're gonna see change is each letter is its own layer. So that means we could drag this L completely far away. But we're gonna try not to do that today. So the D-E-L-L in Kindle looks right. So we're just gonna move it a little closer to the end. And this process is called kerning your fonts. And then the K and the E need to link up to the N. And then we're gonna move the, the AND a little. And then we're gonna move the N over into the I. And then we're gonna connect the MIC a little bit more. And then we're going to connect this with the H. So as you can see here, all we're doing is going through and just kerning these letters. Lastly, I think what we're going to do is connect the A and the E, just like that. Once all the words look correct, you're just going to select this and press weld. Once you've welded that together, now we're going to manipulate the Krigger. So repeating the same process, you just want to select the layer and then we're going to go down on our letter spacing to bring these closer together. Once they're how you like it, we can just make this a little bit larger. And then bring the mockling Kindle right here on top and size it down just a little bit. And now it's sized down a little bit. To save us some time, we're gonna select both layers and we're just going to select a line and we're gonna select center. Now that this looks a little crazy, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the um, our scripty font and it's currently set to cut. What we're going to do is we're gonna have that print. No fretting, nothing to worry about. It, we're not actually printing anything but we do want that image. So what we're gonna do is after that's complete, we're going to press make it. And then all we wanna do is take this image after we press continue. And where it says send to printer, we're just going to click send to printer. And you're going to see this image right here. You wanna download it to your desktop. You can drag it 
or you can double click and select save image as. This is the same thing. So we can do that. Now you're gonna wanna X this off and select cancel. And we do wanna cancel the cut. Now we're gonna select upload and we're going to select upload image and we can just drag this image right here and we're gonna select simple and select continue. And it says select and erase any areas you do not want. So we're just gonna go ahead. You, this is a great time to take away you know, this area, but it's also quicker, I believe, to contour it out. So you can select on this like that. Um, but if there's any other areas we need to contour out, we'll be able to do that in a bit. So we're gonna save this as a cut image. And now we're gonna select this. And we're going to rotate it. And then size it up. What I like to do during this project, uh, process is go ahead and change our font that we set to print. We're gonna change this to white. So we're going to just bring this back. So now what we're going to do is select both all three layers and we're just going to press a line center. So let's go center all of them up right here. And now we're going to select our white that we changed it to and move it away. So now down here you have your Michael and Kindle like you want to cut it with the vinyl, but now you have your print and cut covering this. Now we're going to select both of these and we're going to press slice. Now you can see all of the extra layers and all we need to do is drag them away. So this right here, we do not need it. Go ahead and delete that. And this right here is what we're keeping. And this right here is what we're getting rid of. So all of this right here is not needed. So we can just select all that and press delete. So now you can see here, if we take both of these layers, select those, align, center, you have your awesome project. And there's one other piece that we do want to get rid of. So if you have any pieces come up, I have this little piece right here that I wanna get rid of. So right here for some reason, we're just gonna contour that out. And now we can go ahead and click align center and you have your awesome knockout method so what you're going to do the last step is press weld so after you center these up you do want to play with it a little bit but as you can see here I've spent some time to make sure it's aligned perfectly you can zoom in and sort of manipulate it a little bit more but this is the best that I got it and then all I did was went ahead and added the established in 2018 so just like this, you have an awesome thing for um, an awesome gift idea, and it's something super customized to the couple or anything like that. This is gonna be a great wedding gift for me to give to two of my friends that are getting married this year, and I think this will be an awesome gift idea for all of your friends. So after this intensive design space tutorial, let's get to crafting. Since we're going to do an iron on for wood technique, what we're going to do is go ahead and press make it. And since this is iron-on, we're gonna make sure to mirror it. So we've mirrored our image, and then we're going to press continue. So now we're gonna select our material as iron-on, and then we wanna make sure that we have our fine point blade in, and we're just gonna take our iron-on and load it into the map. And now we're ready to turn fast mode on and get to cutting. Once the flashing cricket light is lit up, we are going to press that and it's going to cut away. Now that we've unloaded this from the mat, we just want to weed it real quick.
Thank you guys so much for watching my knockout video. I hope you guys got a lot of inspiration from this. I hope you go and use it. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. If you love your die cutting machine, I would love for you guys to also join us over at makersgonnalearn.com, which is an exclusive die cutting community. If you'd like to learn more, we have all the information linked below. See you guys.